Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an awesome Tau army phase here for you guys to check out. Uh, some really cool models that have been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at these models in loads more detail. Stick around, we'll see you guys in a sec. So let's have a look at the Fire Warriors from this army phase. Uh, I know Sam had a lot of fun working on these because he's uh, he's painted quite a few Tau over the years he's been with the company and um, he's got a very good style of doing them, making them look chipped and weathered, which is really cool. Uh, so we're going to go in and have a look at these awesome, awesome Fire Warriors in a bit more detail. As you can see here, they're very battle-worn, as you can see, with loads of chips and nicks on all the armour. Um, definitely, definitely been fighting hard. As you can see, he's picked out all the details, all the little lenses, all the little bits of detail work on the guns, the little buttons and lights on the armor the feet have got some nice highlighting work done on them as well uh, every edge has obviously either been chipped or has been highlighted there so as you can see so really 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 cool amount of detail work done on each individual uh, fire warrior we'll just pull forward the squad leader or Shazui uh, so you can see here really 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 cool model he's just bellowing away there um, pointing and telling <laughs> telling these guys to to get stuck in so <laughs> uh, so as you can see you've got the bonding knife there but all the areas of detail work fully picked out fully highlighted um, again that lovely lovely amount of chipping and uh, weathering and damage done on all the areas of armour which is really nice uh, so that's just him and then we'll pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at this guy's firing while uh, charging or advancing as well there as you can see again a really really cool kit it's lasted the test of time extremely well uh, I just remember when these first came out and they've, uh, they've been around a long time but they really do hold up over the years which is uh, lovely so that's just another one of the Fire Warriors pull forward another sort of second in command for the squad again he's got a little scanner there as you can see with some blips and bits of detail work on it but all the armour and everything there as you can see all fully chipped and, and highlighted respectively every little lens and light and everything fully picked out as well uh, even the two little lights on the backpacks as well are all done as well so that's just him uh, and we'll, let's look at some of the drones uh, we've got marker drone here and you can see all the lenses on that that drone fully picked out there as well so you can see again so that's just him uh, again same consistency with the chipping and highlighting done on these as well so that's just really really nice uh, we'll pull forward uh, I think it's a shield drone so you've got obviously the lenses that are on him as well all fully picked out and fully highlighted there as well and all the chips done on all the armour as well so that's just the shield drone from the squad and then we'll have a look at the support drone here uh, again that's got loads of little lenses and things that are all fully picked out Loads of weathering and chips and scratches on these guys as well here. Uh, and edges uh, all done on different areas as well. So there are edges and also chips on every aspect of the edge work done on their models as well. So that's just the uh, support drone. Uh, and that's the squad overall. I do hope you like them, guys. Up next, we're going to be having a good look at uh, all the suits, the crisis suits that are with this commission. Uh, so stick around. They're coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. Hey guys, so up last we've got the Crisis team and Crisis suits from this army phase. Uh, really cool models. These are the newer versions of the Crisis suits. Uh, I think it's the kit that came out in the last couple of years. Really cool kit uh, and it just gives a little bit more dynamic to them and uh, yeah, just a bit of an up updated kit. Really, really cool models. Uh, so we'll start and have a look at them just to start off with. Again, same consistency and attention to detail throughout on all the armour and the edging and details and bits and bobs. Uh, they've all been edged and then chipped as well. So all the lenses and everything fully picked out there as you can see on the helmet, on all the target on the missile launcher uh, all the little lenses and everything fully picked out on these really 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 cool models uh, even the little lights at the back there all fully picked out looks like he's about to execute someone or something which is really cool uh, he's a bit blase there just shooting away <laughs> um, so yeah that's him really really cool uh, pull forward the other dude here that's got the uh, flamers which is really cool there as you can see all the lenses and everything fully picked out on these as well Moving around the same attention to detail and all the edges, uh, chips and detail work that have been completed on this as well. A little bit of a burn there on the end of the flamers as well, which is really nice. So that's just him. And then we've got the squad leader here. Let's just have a look at him with his red, denoting obviously he's the squad leader. Uh, again, you've got all those lenses and everything fully picked out. A little bit of plasma glow there on the pla uh, plasma gun as well, as you can see. Uh, and again, all the edging and chipping all done throughout on all the areas of the armor panels on the shield and all the other areas of detail. Uh, so that's just him. Really, really cool. And they are the three crisis suits from this awesome awesome Tau army phase i do hope you like them guys we're back in a second to have a look at the whole phase again in a nutshell so stick around that's coming up next see you guys back shortly So thanks for checking this video out guys. I do hope you like these awesome tower models. I know Simon had a great time working on them. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is go into the description of this video. There's a link to our contact form that's found on our website. 
go onto that contact form, select the drop down options that are relevant for you and your project. In the message section, put a list of models in the format that's shown on the website, uh, plus any extra notes about sculpting or other bits and bobs like that that you want in addition to what you're going to have done. Fire that off to us to get the process started and we'll come back to you obviously uh, very, very quickly. Um, also in the description of the video, you can find all the links to our social media. Um, you've got our Instagram, our Twitter and our Facebook. Please don't give us a like and a follow on all of those because we do post loads of content for you guys to check out. Uh, all the projects we're working on, things that we do as a company, shows that we go to, the, the courses that we teach, all those different things can be found on all our platforms of social media. So do go check them out. And finally, while you're here on YouTube watching this video, uh, do us a huge favor, give us a thumbs up on the video, really appreciate it a lot. Hit the bell icon to see all the videos that we upload so you get notified and it lets you know when we put new content up. And finally, subscribe just so you can keep up to date with everything. Uh, but thanks ever so much for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate it and I do hope you like these awesome towel. See you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.